want to support Roller March Unfiltered, be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Go to our uh, second story, another video that absolutely shocked many of us when we saw it. And that is white woman in Central Park calling the cops on a black man who was simply saying, he's there birding, he's bird watching. He's saying, can you put a leash on your dog? Which the signs say you should be doing. Watch Central Park, Karen. Would you please stop? Sir, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm in the ramble. And there is a man, African-American, he has a bicycle helmet. He is recording me and threatening me and my dog. There is an African-American man, I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. And my I'm sorry, I can't hear you either. From the uh, dog. I'm man into the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. I'm in Central Park in the ramble. I don't know. Thank you. Well, Amy Cooper is her name. Amy Cooper now doesn't have a job. Yes, she's been fired from her job with Franklin Templeton, where she was a vice president. They tweeted following, this is what they said, following our internal review of the incident in Central Park yesterday, we have made the decision to terminate the employee involved, effective immediately. We do not tolerate racism of any kind at Franklin Templeton. Oh, by the way, the dog is also gone too. This is the statement that was released by the place where she got the dog. Pull it up, please. Thank this is Abandoned Angels Cocker Spaniel Rescue Inc. Thank you to the concerned public for reaching out to us about a video involving a dog that was adopted from our rescue a few years ago. As of this evening, the owner has voluntarily surrendered the dog in question to our rescue while this matter is being addressed. Our mission remains the health and safety of our rescue dogs. The dog is now in our rescue's care and he is safe and in good health. We will not be responding to any further inquiries about the situation, either publicly or privately. Thank you for your understanding. Keep in mind, keep in mind that they pulled the dog before she got fired. Now, she did release the statement apologizing. Y'all have that? Here we go, y'all. Watch this. This is lovely. I sincerely and humbly apologize to everyone, especially to that man, his family. Uh, she said in a phone call, this is with NBC. It was unacceptable and I humbly and fully apologize to everyone who's seen that video, everyone that's been offended, everyone who thinks of me in a lower light and I understand why they do. When I think about the police, I'm such a blessed person. I've come to realize, especially today, that I think of the police as a protection agency. And unfortunately, this has caused me to realize that there are so many people in this country that don't have that luxury. Now, here's what's interesting. Where did you see the apology to the brother in that video? Excuse me, in that statement. But I wanna do something again. I wanna play again the video. I want you to watch her actions. I want you to watch how she moved towards him and then how she quickly went to call the cops because a scary black man is here. Would you please stop? Sir, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please, please don't come off. close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to and me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Y'all, she knew exactly what she was saying. Because she knows as a white woman, 
Oh, if a white, if a black man is threatening the life of a white woman, oh, as Maxwell was saying, when the cops come knocking, oh yeah, we see exactly what is going on here. Press play. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm in the Rambo, and there is a man, African American, he has a bicycle helmet. He is recording me and threatening me and my dog. There is an African American man, I am in Central Park, he is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. And my. I'm sorry, I can't hear you either. I'm being threatened by a man in Right the there. Please. Pause right there. I'm in Central Park. As an African-American man who's threatening me and my dog. She repeats it a second time. Now, all of a sudden, here's the distress. Now, you see, oh my goodness, okay, the pain in my voice. And now you begin to hear her raise her voice. And now, the whole deal is, please, send help, send help. Come get this black man away from me. That phone call could have turned into a Gerald Floyd. Press play. Send the cops immediately. I'm in Central Park in Orlando. I don't know. Thank you. Now, interesting thing is that the man's name is Christian Cooper. Kelly, here's a problem that I have with all of this. If you read many reports, it was Christian Cooper, a Harvard-educated man. First of all, that has nothing to do with his story. If he went to Howard or FAMU or, or hell, anywhere else, Texas A&M, that would have never been a part of it. See, what happens, Kelly, is white folks somehow think going to Harvard inoculates Negroes from racism. When a Negro from Harvard can also be killed. And the thing is, black people who go to Harvard aren't walking around going, hi, Harvard Negro graduate. But that's how media sort of frame this. That means nothing. I don't care if he didn't go to college. What she did was evil and wrong and deserved to be fired. Absolutely. Um, I really don't like it when you have headlines like that. It's like Harvard grad or Yale grad or, you know, enter, you know, prestigious uh, label here as if that is something that, like you said, is supposed to like insulate you from racism. First of all, obviously, even if that were the case, in, in this case, it actually was the case that he is a graduate. She doesn't see Harvard grad when she is scared and fearing for her life and calling the cops because she's not obeying a city ordinance order. You know, she is looking at him as a black man who is infringing upon her, her caucasity you know, and and her her entitledness. Uh, she's not seeing the fact that he's a human being. She's not seeing any of that. She's just seeing something or some. No, really, she's seeing something in her way such that it, it needs to be moved out of her way. And who better than to move something out of your way than the police? Because we have a history in this country of police acquiescing to white women when it comes to the the hindrances of black men. So again, it, it, it's, it's, it, it's just incredibly frustrating to me and incredibly infuriating to me that this is still going on. And it almost feels like there's been an uptick in it, so to speak, because we have these stay at home orders nationwide as if, you know, we are going to ignore the fact that racism still exists or we are going to, you know, it's like they're being sneaky with it it feels like that, you know, because you're staying at home, police aren't really going to pay attention to the fact that you're infringing on my rights as a human being. That's not going to be the case. People still have cell phones. People still have common sense. And unfortunately, there are still races out there who have neither of those things. So this is going to continue. It's unfortunate, but it's going to continue. And thankfully, in this situation, he had the wherewithal to videotape himself. And, you know, with, with her, it was just a matter. I, I thought of the Wizard of Oz of I'll get you my pretty and your little dog, too. That's exactly what happened with her. So good riddance. Um, Mustafa, again, when you see what is going on here when you the, the desperate pleas of this white woman in distress that's what she was doing she knew exactly 
what she was doing because the cops come running when a white woman is in distress in America. You know, this is a, a reoccurring story that we know throughout our history. All we have to do is say Emmett Till. And we know that the lie that was told that he whistled at a white woman got him literally murdered. We know that in that location, in Central Park, and, and the president played a role in this, and I know someone will probably have something to say about it, but that if the Central Park Five went to jail because, you know, there were lies that were told and they spent, you know, 14, 15 years in prison um, because of the assumption that they did something without there being any proof. So we know that this is a reoccurring theme. And I think that it's time for us to actually make some punitive uh, damages along with making sure that people spend some time when they do these types of things. And actually, we had a big discussion today uh, on social media. Now, we know that there are those laws that are out there that if you make a false report to police, then it can be a misdemeanor and you can spend up to six months in jail. And also there can be criminal fines that are associated with that. We need to have a national law that when these people pick up the phone and they know that this is racially motivated, that they're trying to get the police engaged in a process that could be, you know, literally take people's lives away, that there is a cost. One, they shouldn't be wasting the police's time. And two, they shouldn't be putting black men and other men of color or other people of color's lives in danger. And I think that if we start penalizing people when they make these false and misleading statements, that it will be one piece of the puzzle in helping to make change actually happen. Uh, Melik, I don't give a damn about this white woman. I don't care about her tears. I don't care if she's lost her job. Uh, I don't care if she's lost her, do her dog. The reality is Amy Cooper, her actions could have led to the death of another black man. Remember what happened in that damn Walmart when somebody white and be somebody white called the cops in Ohio and John Crawford the third was in there on a cell phone had an air gun and that person told the cops this person was waving this armed gun in the store and the cops came there with SWAT busted in a uh, yell for him Crawford turned this way they fired John Crawford is dead because some white person got scared. This is you did not, not even John Crawford. We can actually bring up Tamir Rice. Remember, there was someone who called the police and said that there was a there was a young man. Now they described 12-year-old Tamir Rice as a young man, and he wasn't a young man at the age of 12. And when the police got there, of course, we know within three seconds, Tamir Rice was dead. So we've seen this thing time and time again. I, I totally agree with you when you were saying about the, you know, characterizing this or focusing on where he went to school. It doesn't matter if he never went to college. I was pushing back, I, you know, some of my friends was like, and he was a Harvard graduate. And I was like, I don't care. I don't care what type of graduate he was. That didn't matter. Skip Lewis Gates was a Harvard professor. That meant nothing. It didn't stop him from being arrested, trying to get into his own home and have a ultimate, ultimately a beer summit later. I think that, you know, she deserves everything that's coming to her, except, and this is where I'll do, I don't agree that, I, I don't push the notion that she should have been fired from her job. That was something that her company itself decided that they just could not risk. And she was a liability. So I think that the company was well within its right to fire her. I, myself, was not pushing for her to be fired. But I do think that there should be some type of, and I, and I think, yeah, Mustafa is right. There are fines associated with falling false claims. You know, whether or not those things are actually prosecuted, I don't know. I know it was a similar thing that we saw in the Jussie Smollett case where he filed what seems to be definitely a false um, police report, but I don't think that anything actually happened to him from that. But the the performance, the BET arabesque film performance that this woman did with the screaming and all of that, it was so over the top. And she knew exactly what she was doing because she mentioned the fact that he was an African-American because she wanted, you're talking about a dog whistle? This is exactly what that was. She knew exactly what she was doing. And like you said, she didn't bother to apologize in that statement. She could have just left the statement, but to not apologize to the man who was sitting there in front of you, whom you actually accused of trying to attack you. Now, I will say this last thing. 
I didn't actually hear the audio until just now because I saw the video. I was already disturbed, and I say this as a dog owner, I was already disturbed watching the video of her basically carrying this dog around with the leash around his neck. And then now that I'm hearing not just the back and forth between um, Amy and Christian, but I'm hearing the dog squealing itself. And I had to turn the volume down because I was like, oh, yeah, I... I that that just took took it off over the top for me. But they decided that she needed to be fired. Good for her. Maybe she'll think again, think about it again the next time she makes such a claim. Kelly, I don't give a damn. Her ass should have been fired. I keep telling all these white folks, if y'all keep showing yourselves, you keep getting fired, what needs to happen is black people should be lining up for your jobs. That's what should be happening. And so we have that we have that we, we have that segment, crazy ass white people, and for people like her. These white folks are losing their minds by calling the cops on black people when it comes to just being in an Airbnb or selling some lemonade or having a barbecue or car is that much into the walkway. No, this is white entitlement where they can say, guess, and I don't, I do not use the N word, but this is essentially what they are saying. Nigga, I'm about to put you in check by calling the cops on you. That's what they are doing. No, that's exactly what they're doing. I disagree with uh, Melik in the sense, in the uh, fact that uh, these these people, these perpetrators, should not be losing their jobs. And here's why: even if the job is not necessarily client facing, and I've said this on your show before, if you have a client facing job and you have racial bias, you shouldn't be in that job. And I stand by that statement. However. If you do not have a job like that where you are not client facing, but you do something like this, now you are client facing because this person, you know, this, uh, I can't even remember her actual name. Amy Cooper. Amy. Um, when, what Amy just did was actually put not only herself, but everything that she represents in the spotlight. So if people see your face and they associate you with that company, guess what? People can boycott that company because she's still there. People will, you know, try and sabotage that company because she's still there. That bi- that business will lose money, will lose um, its standing in the world because she's still there. Um, so, and there are clauses. I don't know what it was about her contract, but there are moral uh, clauses in a lot of people's contracts such that you shouldn't be doing basically dumb stuff such as this so long as you are employed with this particular company. Well, the thing- and the minute that you breach that, that is when you get fired. So again, I don't know what was in her contract, but even still, what she did right. rose to the level of such egregiousness that she did deserve to get fired because well, st- that, that made her a liability to that company. Well, stop. the thing here is this here, okay? And this, if a person acts this way, we don't know what you might do in the office. We don't know when it comes to hiring. We don't know when it comes to other clients. And I'm telling you, I, I, I keep, here's what I keep trying to explain to people, which is why this show matters, because you're not going to have this dialogue on these other networks. White people, not all of them, but there are white people in this country who are absolutely scared to death of 2043 of this nation becoming a nation majority, people of color, and you have these folks who are freaking out, who are going to call the cops at the drop of a hat, who are going to sit here and, again, put in our place because there is fear. There is fear. And I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm not giving an inch to any of these people, Mustafa. None of them. I want every single one of them to lose their jobs. I want them to be embarrassed. I want them to lose their livelihood because their white tears and fears are, could, are literally putting black people's lives on the line. Racism has cost people of color, particularly African-Americans, their lives, their livelihood, uh, and a number of other aspects for hundreds of years now. So it's time that racism also cost those who are perpetuating it uh, on others. Um, And that's the way I feel about it. Also right now, I want to talk about a black-owned company. Remember we had Mary Spio on the show with Seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. 
folks, is a sister. She's from Ghana. She created her own technology company. She actually is created her own headphones. These are 360 degree 4D headphones. Go ahead, y'all. You can show the uh, slideshow right now of these various headphones. Again, uh, she's African. She's a, she's a, she's from African African woman. Folks, these are amazing, amazing headphones. Uh, they uh, sound great. Uh, and here's the piece. You can actually uh, get these with a discount. Our members, the people who watch this show, you get to actually get these. Black-owned company. Go ahead and show the code, please. Use this code, RMVIP2020. If you want to buy these headphones, also their VR, a virtual reality headset. Uh, so the company is Seek.com. And again, we support black businesses. There are African-Americans who are doing amazing things in technology. And that's why we su support the folks at Seek.com. Seek.com, C-E-E-K, C-E-E-K.com, where you can actually get these headphones. Uh, and so uh, y'all have it. And so please uh, use the code RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020, and a proceeds of when you purchase these headphones comes back to the show. And so that's how we do it. We support a black business. That black business is reinvesting in Roland Martin Unfiltered so we can do what we do. <laughs> In America, everyone counts, and the 2020 census is how that great promise is kept. Respond today online, by phone, or by mail, and help inform hundreds of billions in funding for education, health programs, and more. Shape your future. Start at 2020 Census. Gov. Talk about, speaking of radio, a controversial radio host at KDKA Radio in Pittsburgh. She's sitting her ass at home right now. She's been taken off the air indefinitely. The decision to take Wendy Bell off the air comes after a clip of her advocating for park rangers to shoot protesters went viral. My easy solution for the park rangers and hopefully snipers who are going to be watching for this is to shoot on co shoot on site. <laughs> shoot. Done. No more messing with monuments. You want to mess with a monument? Done. Get out. Hmm. Well, Wendy now is on indefinite suspension. Joining us right now is Lady McAllister. Uh, Lady is a conservative, director of Western Pennsylvania for Commonwealth Foundation. Uh, Lady, uh, this has gotten lots of attention there in Pittsburgh. Now, first of all, has she been fired or is she suspended indefinitely without pay? What's the status? As of right now, okay, hold on. suspended. They were supposed to have a protest on the KDK studios today, but only about 15 people showed up. So that didn't go as well as her supporters would have hoped that it did go. So as of right now, from what I'm hearing, is she'll be off the air for the rest of the week. So in essence, she got Friday off. She was going to probably have Labor Day off anyway. She's probably going to be off the rest of this week, and a determination will be made after that. Uh, the, the thing that jumps out again, the, this whole notion of, wait a minute, so, so conservatives like her, they love the Second Amendment, but they don't mm -hmm. like the First Amendment. Or, or due process or anything else that comes with those Bill of Rights. And the, the shocking thing about that, Roland, is I did my shows at KDK from that same microphone when I was a host on KDK not that long ago. And I know what it was like to be a conservative on a, on a station that by and large leans a little bit to the left, depending on the host. So people are trying to make this out to be conservative versus liberal. But the truth of the matter is, if you're a constitutional conservative, you believe in due process, innocent until proven guilty. Let the criminal justice system deal with any type of law breaking. Unfortunately, fascism is fascism. And what she's asking for is basically justice on site, which is the epitome of what people were talking about with police and other type of renegade forces, judge, jury and executioner that we've been seeing in the streets for quite some time, it plays right into that narrative. And unfortunately, people have played right past that, and they're trying to make this about whether they're taking off a Trump supporter off the air when it has nothing to do with that. Well, and again, I mean, she's saying shoot them on sight. I mean, so, yeah. I mean, this is a woman advocating for state-sanctioned violence against Americans. 
without due process, which is a constitutional right for every single American citizen, regardless of how guilty or how much in the act you are caught. Again, let's not talk about all the different assailants that have been caught after committing violent crimes. Here in Pennsylvania, Eric Fryn had killed two police officers, two state troopers, and was brought in, you know, unmarked. He's in a jail cell right now, went through the criminal justice system, was found guilty. We have plenty of cases like that. But then when you have this as an advocacy, something that's being said, and again, you know, she said stuff similar to this in some instances on our personal Facebook page. But to say this in the KDKA studio, which is supposed to be the quote unquote voice of Pittsburgh, a, a radio station that's the oldest in North America, and to advocate for this type of violence, it's un-American and it's uncalled for, and I'm glad she's off the air. Um, you have folks uh, who uh, despise protesters. We've heard this sort of language before. Uh, and again, you have this. I, it, it amazes me when I hear conservatives, especially those on Fox News and conservative radio talk show hosts, love talking about all oh, the victimization of black people. These are some of the, the biggest people who swear they're victims. Oh, I'm being attacked because I'm conservative or I'm Republican or I support Trump. No, you literally looked into the camera and said, take them out. Shoot protesters. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. That's on, that's on her. That's on her. Yeah. And as you well know, Roland, there's a lot of conservatives that hate the victimization of black America, and they'll, they'll say that black people feel like they're too victimized, et cetera, et cetera. But the very first card they play and in a debate is, I'm being victimized because I'm a conservative. This is part of the card that's being played right now with some of her supporters online. And it's just egregious, and it's, it's You cannot, you have a responsibility, we all know this on the air. We have a responsibility to speak a certain way. You can be provocative. You can push the envelope. You can say things that other people may not say in order to get them to think. But you cannot advocate for violence. And if you're a constitutional conservative, you are never supposed to be able to talk outside the realms of the Constitution. Because that's when you start getting into the extra American things. That's when you start talking about socialism, communism, or fascism. And it's amazing how... In these modern times, even with somebody like Wendy Bell, my fascism is fine, your fascism is un-American. Because that's basically what she's saying and a lot of what her supporters are saying right now. And I say none of the fascism is right. Either we have a constitution or we don't. And that's exactly why people are protesting in the streets today. Uh, well, uh, she should be off the air. Let's see if they actually take her off it, uh, uh, completely. We'll see. All right, Lady McAllister, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. God bless. Appreciate it. Uh, Kelly, should she come back on the air? No. What she did was unconstitutional, period. This isn't about, like you said, this is not about political party lines. This is about you literally violating your own protection being the First Amendment. Um, basically, you can say almost whatever you want under First Amendment protections, but for inciting violence, and that's exactly what she did. And considering her base and her audience, I don't know what the numbers are in terms of ratings and how wide her audience is, but the fact that she said that at all, I don't care if it's to one person, you violated the First Amendment constitutional protection for free speech by doing so. So, no, she should not be back on the air. What she did was jeopardize the integrity of the First Amendment and other radio hosts who do uh, uh, programming such as shock value, like I'm thinking, you know, like Howard Stern and even Rush Limbaugh, things like that. I haven't heard Rush Limbaugh say anything like that either. And he, he's, you know, he's something in the conservative party. So the fact that she said something so no, he Russia says some ignorant stuff. Huh? He, I mean, he has. He has. But I, I personally do not recall him saying outright, you know, blatantly say, shoot some protesters. Now, if he has, I stand corrected. I mean, he, he, said, uh, he said other stuff. But Mustafa, stand up. That's out. what I'm saying. Like, you can say what you want. Don't incite violence. Right. Mustafa, uh, she uh, Mustafa, that. Right. Mustafa, stay or, stay or go. She has to go. But the question is, why did KDKA actually hire her when she had been fired before by WTAE? You know, they saw the things that she said and they decided to fire her. So no one did their due diligence before they hired her for KDKA. All right. Um, uh, Mellett, stay or go? Yeah, she has to go. And I think, and that's something that Lenny was actually talking about, 
there is a responsibility that that it's different between I, I don't advocate it regardless. I'm always pushing back on people, even online, who ab, who advocate for um, violence or praise or getting happy because someone died or is ill or something like that. But when you have a platform, you have a responsibility. And that's why I'm careful not to advocate for any type of violence. What she did was advocate for violence. I'm sure her defense is that I was just trying to be provocative. Well, you don't. You shouldn't have the space for that type of provocatism because that is literally advocating for violence. So no, she, she, she. Uh, I, and from my perspective, she lost the public's trust, and she should not be in a, a forward-facing position like that again. video in just one moment. What's up, Black Owned Company? Founded my Mary Spiel. They've got a couple of great products, folks. So this is their virtual reality headset. Allows for you to actually uh, pop this open. You drop your cell phone right into here, close it up, and then you're able to watch VR content right here with this headset. So actually, it's pretty cool. So you know, just put it on, and then it's, it's how it looks. And so uh, what then happens, you can watch the content that's on seat.com. Uh, and trust me, it's pretty cool when you sit here and you feel like you're actually in the room. And so you can also watch 360 degree video uh, on YouTube or uh, your own video as well. So with these headsets right here, then of course they have their 360 degree 4D headphones, uh, which are great. Uh, they have this uh, microphone you can attach uh, to this uh, for gamers uh, who want to actually uh, use this while they're also playing. That's fell down there. Then you, uh, then you also have, that's, that's the headset. Then also their Bluetooth, look at the music. Uh, so I, I listen to it when I go walking. Uh, I love listening to a great bass. Again, a 360 degree travels across your head. If you want to order one or both of these, uh, or even you want to subscribe to Seek.com, go to CEEK.com. Use the promo code right here, RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020, uh, to uh, get these products. Certainly make for great gifts. And so we certainly appreciate them being a partner here at Roland Martin Unfiltered, uh, where we also support black entrepreneurs uh, who are also doing some great things and so to Mary Spee on her team thanks a bunch for that all right y'all you want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com you can make this possible y'all know what time it is uh oh uh oh uh oh why? I got you, Carl. Yeah, um, illegally selling water without a permit? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember, give me your eyes. We don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. Black man sitting in his car, white woman rolls up on him. He's like, what do you want? I live here. She goes, no, you don't. <laughs> you, Let's do it. <clears throat> Go ahead. Already good. 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 Right here. This lady's crazy, y'all. Uh, I'm at my house. Michael, these white folks are acting like we're back in South Africa where you had to present your papers to prove to them your citizenship. Absolutely. By the way, you you always do that extra line of research. Did she lose her job or anything? Because uh, I love when you do that with uh, those folks. We're waiting on that. Uh -huh. We're waiting on that. But we certainly, uh, she should be losing it shortly. But Amisha, that, <laughs> I, mean, that, that, I mean, that's really what we're dealing with. This whole deal of who are you, what are you doing here, where, where these folks feel they have the right to challenge black folks who simply are existing. It's always com completely baffling to me that there's an expectation that a complete stranger who walks up on you, um, you now owe them some type of residency papers or you owe them, you know, the showing of your lease. It's very... It, it, I have never seen a person in my building or around my building that I felt it necessary to go and ask to whether or not they live there. I just haven't. 
So there's something that is within these individuals that gives them some sense of urgency. A yes, sense of yes. A man like no, no, Amisha. Amisha, it's whiteness. What it is, it's no different than the video that we showed when the brother was just walking his dog and the white woman rolled up. Or the sister who, who went to go pick up somebody, I guess, put out up there, if you want some dog food, just come and get it. I think it was some notice in the neighborhood, and the sister yes, yes, went and picked yes, it up. Yes, and then a white man followed her all around, and he was like, well, who are you? Where'd you come yeah. from? What did you pick up? Show me the dog food. I mean, no, it's whiteness. What it is is, I'm telling you, this is just like during slavery, during Jim Crow, South Africa apartheid. I, being white, have the absolute right to question you regardless of anything. That's what it and we, is. And, we have to, and we, then we call the police when you don't respond. Hold on, hold on. Amisha, go ahead and rob. And then call the police when you don't respond as if you owe them something. I think that, you know, it, it escalates beyond I'm just trying to figure out who lived here, which is also inappropriate. Now it is, I'm going to call the police because your mere existence on this property means that you're illegal. Rob? Something yep. you've done is illegal. Yeah, I was 12 years old. The police were called on me while I was playing video games at a, at a, at a, at a at an actual bowling alley. The police pulled up, assumed, uh, and actually listened to the manager of the bowling alley, said that I threatened his life. None of that actually happened. This happens all the time. And this is the power of social media. This is the benefit. This is being exposed. And it's been allowed to go on. It needs to stop. We need to end it. And this needs to end right now. I'm going to tell you something right now, okay? Let me just be real clear. Anybody white, if your punk ass walk on my property and ask me to prove that's my house, I'm going to call the cops. First of all, I'm going to call the cops on your ass for trespassing. Let me be real clear. Now, let me tell y'all something in Texas. I'm letting y'all know. This ain't like, let me be real clear with y'all, that story out of Michigan where they were in the mall and a white woman pulled a gun out on a, on a black woman and her two daughters and that her and her husband got arrested. Let me tell y'all something in Texas. When somebody stepped foot on your property, uh, you got the right to defend yourself. That's also staying your ground. I'm, te I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to warn white people. Y'all are going to roll up on the wrong brother or sister and you're going to come get in somebody's face on their property and they're going to shoot your ass and they're going to say you were threatening, you were on my property challenging me and they're going to invoke staying your ground. I'm telling you, I'm telling you this. I keep I, I'm, I am I be do this segment and white folks need to understand you cannot keep rolling up on black folk acting like you the popo, and you have the right to demand to see our ID and question that we live somewhere. I'm telling you, this it, it, it's, going, it's not going to end well for somebody, somebody, Michael. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. And the, the other tip um, that, you, Roland, you always mention, besides white folks losing their jobs when they act stupid, what do you tell them to do? Turn their cam, turn their phone sideways, so you get the full, you get the full. That's right. To turn, that's right. Turn your phone horizontal or landscape, so we can get the full look uh, right there on the video. <laughs> Absolutely, that's what we want y'all to do. I'm telling you, I, look, man, I, th this is, th this thing is real. These, th there's to, to Amisha's point, they have this whole. V I got the right to question you. The woman yesterday. Oh, I know everybody who lives in the neighborhood. How the hell your ass know everybody? All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, you know, we support black-owned companies right here on Roller Martin Unfiltered. Well, Seek.com is one of those companies. Mary Spio, she is the founder. She is the architect, the inventor of uh, these two products here. These are virtual VR headset where you can pop your phone right in. You can watch a 360-degree video right from your phone with this particular headset. You can also go to their website, Seek.com, and look at the programming that they have uh, that's also virtual reality. They also have these great headphones right here, folks. Allows you to listen to music. If you're a gamer, you can also do that. 360-degree headphones, 4D. Trust me, you don't want 
to miss it. All you got to do is simply go to uh, and use this promo code. If you want to get either one of those items, go to promo code is right there. RMVIP2020. RMVIP2020. Pop that in. will allow you to be able uh, to get the products. Uh, that's how you can support them and how you can support Roller Martin Unfiltered. And so again, seek.com, C E E K dot com. You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. No chocolate girls are allowed. I'm white. I got you, huh? On my property. Whoa! Hey! 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 What did That's I right. do? They're gonna fuck you Why? up. Why? What did I do? Because you are an asshole. Look, look at the whole stairs to yourself. But you had these Why stairs and Why don't you go somewhere stairs? else where you can go to a gym? This is not just for you. Oh, you Get need the to... fuck out of this world. Get the fuck out of this state. Go back to whatever fucking Asian country you belong in. Okay, you racist. You fucking bitch. This is not your place. This is not your home. We do not want you here. You put that on Facebook, I hope you do. Because every fucking person will beat the crap out of you from here on out. Don't you ever say, oh Jesus, to me when I want to use the stairs, you little bitch. There's other stairs. You are a sick, fucking, ignorant teenager. Oh, no thank way, you. You're a fucking what, middle-aged woman? <laughs> Who wears black in California sun? Who the fuck wears black? Are you an idiot? You wear black in California sun? Wow. <sighs> Richie, that woman was a little bit more calmer than my ass would have been with, with Karen cussing me out like that. They know. I, I've heard a statement, and I, I believe that white people started it, but it's uh, monkey know which tree to climb, and they know who to try and who not to try. Because... I wouldn't have picked up the camera because I need to set up, you know how some people do, I won't say white folks, but you know how some people set up their pre-checks and their calls? It would have been all, don't hit me, don't attack me, and I would have been wearing her ass out. Listen, you can carry a phone or you can carry some mace. If you ain't got hands, guess what? Then you need to be walking around with some mace, and as soon as these folks come into your face, shh. Mace them all up in the face. Get them all out your space. It's a threat. She was all up in that woman's face with COVID-19. She ain't have no mask on. She was going off. Oh, no, it would have been some, uh, I don't want to say violence, but it would have been a different kind of exchange where she understood I'm not the one. Erica? <laughs> um, This is my mace, and so <laughs> I am very well trained, and I agree with Reese. I believe that those folks know or believe that they know who it is that they can run up on. Um, definitely mm -hmm, can't be a sister. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to see this really as um, white people are beginning to lose their mind because they're understanding the power that they believe that they once held, the spell that, uh, that folks were under, under disbelief of their power. They're seeing that that is uh, going away. And they're seeing that um, that authority that protected them via, uh, via law enforcement is being challenged as well. So we'll continue to see more of these recorded incidents, but be very clear you run up on a sister, especially this one with locks, uh, your mace is going <laughs> to feel real different. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Yeah, 60 degree headphones, 4D. Gamers love them. I love them uh, with music. Uh, you, of course, you can even talk on them. The Bluetooth 
uh, just great set of headphones. Uh, we have a great partnership with them. If you go to seek.com, C-E-E-K.com, use this promo code, RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020, for you to be able to uh, check these, to get these headphones. And so, uh, yeah, real cool. Uh, they're great. So if y'all going to be out there and you're buying JBL and Bose and the rest of these company, hey, you might as well support a black-owned company uh, with these headphones. Seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. Uh, and again, promo code is RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020. You want to support Roller Bar Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Man, this weekend, this video was posted on Instagram. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I saw it. Uh, and I said, my God, I've got to get this father on the show. He follows me on Instagram. Uh, I sent him uh, a DM. Uh, but first, just, just y'all have seen the video, but it is still shocking every time we see it. Uh, this crazy, deranged-ass white woman, the latest Karen. Watch this, y'all. Show me this is my phone. Show me. No. You don't have to explain nothing to her. Take the case off. That's mine. Literally, get it back. Are you kidding me? You feel like there's only one one iPhone made in the world? No. Okay, then show me the. Show no, me all my you get get a life yeah, over there. No, What's on your background? You better go use find find my iPhone. Go yeah, do that. Find my iPhone is off. Can, on that right No, now. no, you can't. No. I'm the manager of the hotel. Yes, I don't care. He will this right is my now. Son. Hey, Did you see me just come downstairs out of the fucking elevator? Hey, I'm trying to help. Man. No, but you're not helping. I what am. What you mean is disrespectful. No, I'm trying to settle the no. situation. We, I'm, I'm my son to has ask. nothing to do with her. No. I'm trying to figure yeah, out what's going on. Yeah, but he got my phone. Show, then show me the proof. No, he's not leaving. Show me the proof. He, are you show me the proof. Already. You better yeah. get on. I need oh. you away. Let's go, I'm King. I need you away. I'm sorry. Better get on. We have your, what you, you see, you see two black people? No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Wait, 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 wait. You better get on No, please get my phone back. I can't, I cannot not have my phone. Listen, get your and that was only one minute of the video. It's a much longer video that the hotel has. Keon Harold joins us right now. He is a musician. Uh, Keon, uh, welcome to Roller Martin Unfiltered. You doing, Roller? So this is so. How long did this encounter actually take place? It was probably it was probably a minute before I started recording, and it's probably maybe five minutes after it stopped. Because when she came at me, the, I guess the phone so, stopped recording. So, tell our folks what we didn't see, because we see her coming at you. What didn't we see? was my son and I, you know, um, we stayed up late at night after Christmas and we got up and I was like, you know what, son, let's go get some brunch. Let's go downstairs and get some brunch. So we come downstairs in the elevator. Um, we make these two quick little right turns and you're right in the lobby. The minute we got into the lobby, this person looked at us like, like we were red and she was a bull. Like she looked at my son and she pointed at him and she said, he has my phone. It's him. He's got it. Give me, give me my phone. And she went right to him. Um, and before that, I really couldn't believe it. Um, it was, I mean, seriously, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a joke. And then immediately um, my instinct said, you know what, let me start recording because, because some things just get out of hand really, really quickly. You just never know these days. So I started recording and, and the, and the rest is what it is. Um, you know, so literally dealing with her telling you know they're wrongfully accusing my son he's 14 years old i mean that's that's that's, that's my boy my baby and you know literally treating him like he had no rights like they had all rights over him and i just wasn't okay with that at all i mean i've been all over the world with the best artists from jay-z to beyonce to rihanna to everybody um and i and, I, and i'm a, and i'm a whole man and i want my son to be that way 
And I just can't have anybody talking to him any kind of way and just disrespecting his property and just his person um, and his body. So I just wouldn't allow it to happen. Um, you know, after the video cut off, um, it went on for, like I said, maybe four or five more minutes of this person literally trying to get to my son, scratching me, taking him down. Like literally this person was was irate. I can't even make this stuff up. I mean, I'm still in shock about the whole the whole incident. And I mean, it's literally like a, I don't know. It's, I can't make up what it is. It's not now, like a was, movie. It's, go ahead. What was what was strange to me, Keon, was the manager acting like she was in the right. Um, he came. I mean, he was there with her and basically empowering her, enabling her to to basically shake my son down for his phone, for his property. Um, and obviously, I paid for the phone, and no one else had the right to basically basically say, hey, boy, show me your papers. That's what it was like to me. Show me your papers. And it was just not going down with me. My son has his rights. My son, I want him to keep his dignity. Um, you know, because in America... The problem is, as as black people, as as people of color, sometimes our dignity is cut in half, and we we need to have whole dignity. And I just wouldn't allow them to to just take it from them that easily in that way. Um, you know, the manager basically wanted to use his quote unquote authority as a manager at the hotel to te- to, to to get my phone to get my son's phone out of his pockets to give to this lady who literally was not even um, a patron at the time. Um, and I was, I was a paying patron and, and, at the and, time. And, 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 and of course, we heard you basically saying, oh, hell no, don't you hand that phone over. No, not at all. You're not getting this phone. You know, he doesn't owe you anything. And, you know, no, because it happens. And it's been happening for, for way too long. And we all know it. And the right. problem with the, you know, with this incident is that it is something that we see every day. We see it all too often. And, you know, if I wasn't me, maybe it, this probably would have been swept under the rug as well. Nobody would have ever seen it if I hadn't videoed right. it. And then it would have it been another incident of somebody's, you know, going wild and getting away with it. So tell me this, Keon. Um, first off, um, were y'all there when the Uber driver came up with her phone? We were at the restaurant, like, at, at some point. Literally, I don't know if I've ever been in shock, but as I play this back, as as I go through day, you know, day to day, I think I was in shock um, because we were eating. And, you know, literally, I'm still, you know, just basically couldn't believe that this had happened. I mean, I'm a professional. Um and my son is, is an amazing kid. We try to do the best for him. Um, and just incidents like that is just not what we do. And the fact that this actually happened in this establishment and it was basically empowered by the management, um, it, it um, I don't know, it put me somewhere else. I'm still somewhere else when it comes comes down to it. We were eating and we come back in and I guess she was gone, but she had come back um, to... I guess called the Uber or something. Somebody brought their brought her phone back. I don't know what what taxi company or Uber or Lyft, whatever it was. They brought it back and she got her phone. Um, to no apology um, to anything um, to what had happened with my son. I mean, they totally disrespected my son um, in a, in a, in, a, in a major way. And I just thank God that I was actually there to be with them. It's so often that the parent is not there with the child. If I had to come down a little bit later, I couldn't imagine what I'd have done if these people were on my son. Because I'm a big guy. I'm six foot, like 220, 230. And, you know, they really didn't care. They didn't hear anything that I had to say. As I told her, why don't you use the find my iPhone feature? Everybody uses that that I right. know when you when you lose your phone. That was not right. enough for her. I mean, um, here's the deal. I mean... I mean, here's the deal. Here's the deal. What's well, hilarious, Keon? I, I when I was in Miami for American Black Film Festival, we were at a reception, uh, and that was a sister who who came there, and then she went, "Oh my God, I, I lost my phone," and so she was freaking out, and and I said, "All you got to do is here's my phone." I said, "I log out. You put in your Apple ID, username, and then your account comes up. Ping your phone. That's exactly what she did. Pinged her phone." 
the Uber driver uh, uh, brought her phone back. That, that's how it works. But what gets me is she never apologized. Uh, the hotel has said, uh, first of all, what was the name of the hotel? And Because the parent company has said they have reached out to you. Uh, and so that's first. Uh, no apology uh, from her. Did the manager ever apologize? No. Um, as, as, as far as, like, all of that, to me, is, 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 is pretty blurry. Because it happened so fast and so got it. Uh, it's 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 like I don't I don't like no. It was it was a blur, and so much so that so it's, it's, it's still unbelievable, man. So so the hotel says they the hotel company says they've reached out to you. Have you talked to them? And what is next? Has the woman been identified? What do you want to happen next? Because she the, she assaulted you and your son. Absolutely. So um, my attorney, um, Ben Crump, and we basically are, you know, filing charges and um, trying to see what's next in the process um, legally. And you hold, know, on, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 hold on. You said you said you said Keon, you said filing charges. Has she been identified? Identified. Say it again. Actually, break it up. Has she or has she not been identified? She's been identified. Got it. Okay, got it. Got it. Uh, so, so, and so, y'all are going to file charges against her for assault against you and your son. Yeah. I didn't hear. Say it again. I'm sorry. Yes, we we intend to file charges. Well, uh, Keon, this is uh, it, 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 look. The reality is, you're absolutely right. Had you not pulled your camera out and recorded it, it would not have gotten this attention. Which is one of the reasons why I keep telling our folks, look, we got look. This shouldn't have to be the case. You've got these crazy, deranged uh, folks out here. Uh, a lot of folks, uh, a lot, these a lot, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, folks out there, white women and others who are challenging black people, as you said, demanding papers. And the reality is, uh, we have just we, we must stand our ground and assert our rights. You did the right thing uh, by uh, fighting for your son and making it perfectly clear you don't have to bow down to anybody who is demanding you uh, turn over your phone as if you were a thief. And that's exactly what this woman tried to do. Absolutely. And, you know, at this point, it's, it's, it's been too long, and we're in twenty going into 2021. We've had one black president. We're going to have a, 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 a we have president-elect, um, vice president-elect um, right now. Um, right. As... You know, and, you know, at this time, it's time for change. It's time for, you know, no matter what you do, no matter what you look like, to be treated as a full-fledged whole person. Um, we're, we're not three-fifths of man anymore. And the idea that we need yep. respect, we need respect, our kids need respect, our young black boys, you know, need to be, need to feel whole and feel protected wherever they go, no matter you know, yep. being, you know, fa falsely identified as, you know, whatever, a thug or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. I deserve to be here. You know, I pay my money to be in that establishment. We deserve to be there. We didn't yep. deserve to be treated um, wrongly. We didn't deserve to be um, categorized as, as somebody who needed to offer up our property just because somebody asked for it. You know, it's time out for that. Um, you right. know, and, and and to me, it's, it's 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 more than it's more than apology, more than apology. Now it's it's about change. Right. You're right, Keon. We appreciate it, my brother. Thanks a lot. Give our best to your son. Thank you so much for talking to me, Roland. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Candace, I want to go to you quickly, go to my panel quickly before I go to uh, a quick break and then do some uh, interviews here with some folks here in Albany. Candace, this is where. Lawyers, Ben Crump is the attorney. This is where you take folk and they got to pay for what they did to him and his family. That's right. And, you know, one of the, the biggest takeaways, too, that I get from this is that here was a father and a son who were going to have a nice brunch. And then all of that was displaced by this. And this is what that young man is going to remember when it comes to Christmas 2020. All that we're doing was going downstairs to eat. And then this is what happened.
So yes, this is more than just an apology. This is somebody that has to pay because this is a woman that was trying to steal this young man's phone because that phone did not belong to her. Then she libeled him by calling him a thief. And then as, as, um, as he said, as the father said, I mean, there's just, he was in shock. So you have a lot of emotional distress that was there. Civil rights violations by the, by the hotel. I mean, the list goes on, you know, Benjamin Crump, took this case for a reason. Let's put it that way. To simply say, I'm sorry, that's right, charge her ass as quick as possible. Absolutely. And I think well, those charges, hopefully also the judge or whoever the, uh, the finder of fact is in this case, starts to, you got to start having some harsher penalties as a deterrent. So folks will look up and say, you know what, maybe it's not a good idea, like the Central Park case. Uh, I don't know if that's been adjudicated yet or if that's been completed and what happened uh, with her. But slapping that, folks that, that on the wrist that, that, for making a mistake right. um, is not going to get it done. Uh, as Candace uh, uh, mentioned, you have to do something that's going to deter people. For you got to change behavior, and we talk about this obviously with police shootings as well. Until you change behavior, these kind of things are going to persist. And I'm glad he took video because without the video, everything would be different. Oh, I never said that. Oh, it didn't go down like that. The video speaks for itself. Great evidence. I'm glad Mr. Crump has taken the case. Bottom line, Rena, I want them to embarrass the hell out of this woman. And to, for the next person who thinks about doing that, they go, damn, I might be on national television if I act a fool. Mm -hmm. I've been looking for her name for a while, so I don't know where it is yet. I'm, I'm looking forward to it coming out because she looks like just sort of any normal woman that you would run into in New York City, sort of. And, and I think one thing that grabbed me as a communicator is the nonverbals. And right when the video started, within a first few seconds, you can see her lightly put her hand on the, the shoulder of the manager, sort of saying, that's him. And to me, that sort of act of her putting her hand on the, the shoulder of the manager, who she yep. probably didn't know before, it's sort of a, a is that is that nonverbal that sort of says, hey, of course it's him. He's black. I mean, it's it's sort of that that kinship. You're white. You get my plight. He's black. It must be him. And this is the problem. And so this is, um, yeah, I couldn't agree more <laughs> with uh, Mr. Brown there. I mean, I think here we are. This is about changing the way people see black people. This is really yep. uh, about white people and how they see black people. And then even in white people, how they see brown people like me. I mean, my brother is far darker in complexion than me and has been mistaken for somebody black before. And that this doesn't matter because yep. this is the thing. It's like if your color is not white, are we not right? Are we are we suddenly thieves because we're darker than you because we have melanin in our skin? Are we suddenly like predisposed to to committing a crime like that, especially a petty crime? And just wild to me that this woman yep. and and she clearly was suffering from some mental illness. I really do. She was very agitated and um, no, and in a no, way that was no, to me no, not normal. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not I ain't giving it. mental I'm illness. Not it's some, it at all. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> No, damn that. It's some ignorant, crazy ass white people out here and she white women who act a fool. Like the that. woman in Central. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've seen just too many cases. Is folks with privilege. The woman who called on the barbecue uh, in Oakland when you yes. had the woman who the brother was barely parked into the median and she called the mm. cops. The white woman who called uh, on, on the black woman with the lemonade stand. I could go. The white woman with, with the UPS driver. The brother's wearing a damn brown uniform and says, mm -hmm. UPS, the white man uh, with, the, with the FedEx driver. I can go on and on and on. It ain't mental illness. White supremacy is not mental illness. It's white supremacy. And that's what that was. Pure and simple. I, I do agree. All right, folks, I do I agree with that today, I, 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 but, I, but I'm not going to just let them slide with mental illness. I'm not saying no, it needs to be medicated. Um, no, 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 no. It needs to be. No, 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 no. It needs to be adjudicated. Throw her punk ass in jail and make Definitely. her pay up for <laughs> assaulting that man uh, and his up. son. Uh, Michael, well, guess what? Guess what? And make our ass real famous. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. 
this is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right. Y'all know what time it is. Real, the charcoal girls are alive. I'm white. I got you, huh? So we ran up against another Karen Greg in a convenience store. And let's just say, Reese, she got a little bold. She got uh, a little loose with the language. Uh, and Erica, let's just say she met Layla Ali. <laughs> Tell him, Reese. Boy, you know that she had the nerve to sit up there and say, all I said was, excuse me. Now, bitch, you called her the N-word and she molly you as she should. <laughs> and to the bystander talking about, I hate to get in the middle of it, but she's down. So what? Knock her down some more. Because people need to learn. I'm tired of all these docile videos going viral where people let these white folks talk to them any old kind of way and everybody applauds them for how gracious they are and, oh, you were so poised and, oh, you just kept your composure. No, sometimes you need to knock some sense into some of these folks. And she got the sense knocking to her that day. Great. I, we keep... We keep warning them. We keep y'all gonna run up against the wrong one, and it ain't gonna it, it ain't gonna end well, brother. In July 1919, Claude McKay published his poem, "If We Must Die, Let Us Nobly Die." <laughs> and when she says, "Call 911 and tell them," she's saying, "You cross the threshold where I don't even." care 
about any consequences. Call whoever you want. And like, like you said, like we've been saying now for years at this point, you've been running crazy ass white people. She said the thing we always say. One day you're going to roll up on the right one. She said, I am. The right one. Right. Hey, but there's so much but there's so much going on in that video, brother. I mean, the ironies. Here this white woman is with a mask on. Here this sister is without a mask on. And you're looking at this. And so when she when she hits her, the whole thing is triggered by that white woman standing there, and you can see the wheels turning in her mind. Am I gonna make a stand for my white nationalism and call this woman <laughs> the N-word one more time? And when she finally decides to do it, she gets squared up and gets that two-piece, bang, bang. And like when the man says, she's down, that sister right there has not only put herself in danger, but I'll end with this. Like Claude McKay, when he wrote, If We Must Die, it was during the Red Summer, brother. The big conflagration that happened in Chicago that summer, the race war that took place in Chicago, it is attested that they were throwing rocks at a black kid trying to swim in the in the river in Lake Michigan, and they start throwing rocks at him, and next thing you know, everything sets off. It might be a fist fight like that that sends this country up in flames, brother. That's how close we are. Absolutely. So y'all better back up. All right, folks, back to our Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, fam, the folks at Seek.com, uh, founded by Mary Spiel, a sister, of course. Uh, she is the inventor, the creator of these devices, this virtual reality headset right here. You saw it in the video there. And also uh, the 360-degree 4D headphones. Uh, you can actually get these with a discount because they partner with us at Roland Martin Unfiltered. Right here, here's the code RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020. Uh, first of all, folks, the headsets are phenomenal. The headphones are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and, of course, the VR headset is great because you just pop your phone, uh, put it into the uh, device, and you can actually see uh, video in virtual reality. So it's real cool. Go to Seek.com, Seek.com, C-E-E-K.com, and use the promo code RMVIP2020. You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. I'm white. I got you, huh? Selling water with our on my property. All right, Amisha, I'll say this last one for you. This is probably one of the wildest Karens we've had to encounter. Karen, are you okay? Can you explain to me calmly? No, because you're attacking me right now. I'm not attacking you. Ma'am, you flicked me off. You're ready to take it. Guys, this is her license plate number. She lives here. This is her address. No, this is not true. No, Karen, you flicked me off. No, you cut me off and flipped me off, and now you're playing the victim. Ma'am, would you like to calm down? Guys, she flipped me off. She literally clipped me off and then she tried to come home. She's Karen. Karen, would you like to calm down and have a conversation? Why are you? Am I attacking her? Ma'am, I'm not attacking you. You flipped me off and you thought you could get away with it. You didn't think I would find you. She can apologize for calling me a nigger and flipping me off. I'm trying to talk to you. My name is Carlos. Would you like to speak to me? This is what we get Pick, Ma'am, why are you sitting here crying? What have I done to you? Ma'am, what have I done to you? So if, so you can go around the city and flip people off and cut me off. So you didn't flip me off. 
Ma'am, you can, I can, I'm trying to let you talk. Do you know her? You cannot sit, she, she literally flipped me off. She cut me off. She I have it on camera. She flipped me off three blocks away and then she slammed on her brakes. I have it on my Instagram. And then I got on my car and I was like, ma'am, why are you following me? Why? She literally followed me. So then I followed her back home and I said, ma'am, why are you being harassing me? Ma'am, listen for about what? Can I speak to you? <laughs> You're going to ruin my life and you don't even know me. See, Amisha, I keep trying to tell these white folk, y'all might want to stop acting a fool. Now, she did all that screaming, covering up a license plate. Boo, you, you've gone viral. You've gone viral. But again, there are these people who think they can call us the N-word, treat us like crap. But when they get hit with this, this is the great equalizer. And I'm sorry, I have absolutely no compassion for her. She wasn't bothered by anything except the fact that this was going to be released. If she was so yeah. worried, she would not have cut this man off, called him the N-word, followed him, because this was, you know, in, in, his, in his iteration, he was following her back. She was more afraid of being identified and outed for exactly what she did than she was bothered by her own activities. Then she gets down in the fetal position and starts you know, wailing um, and acting like she was so afraid as, it, as though this man was charging at her or beating her or something. He's standing many yards back and recording. At the end of the day, it, it frustrates me that there are a lot of white people who are more afraid of a camera being shown after they've committed said racist acts than they are of committing said racist acts to begin with. And I, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that the veil of the camera today has been lifted and that corporations, businesses, friends and neighbors and everyone else is paying attention to people for doing their everyday white racist things. And again, I, I, I just keep trying to explain to these people, Brittany. <laughs> if y'all go out there acting a fool, your ass might be featured in crazy ass white people segments. Listen, sure will. And, and that's on them. I mean, I love Amisha's point. At the end of the day, she didn't care about what she did. She didn't care about being the racist Karen that she was. She cared that she was about to get caught. She was going to go viral. And she potentially could lose her job. That's all she cared about. And I just, I mean, I've never seen anything like that was an adult throwing a full-on tantrum. That man was nowhere near her. And the scary part is, let the wrong person have been there or let him not got it on camera. The way that she was wailing, if the police showed up, we know how that goes. Scary times. Pola, Pola can't, but uh, did, did, did y'all miss the part where she said, I have a black husband? Y'all missed that part? <laughs> yes, I missed that. Oh, wow. Y'all gotta pay attention, y'all. She said... <laughs> In her, in her in her wailing, I'm a black husband. <laughs> no. Does she call him a nigga? Too? I have no idea, but. Uh... All right, folks, back to our Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. Uh, Mary Spiel, she's the founder of Seek, Seek.com. Uh, she is the inventor of these 360-degree 4D headphones. Unbelievable sound. Folks, you can use this for gaming. You can also, of course, with music, videos, you name it. Uh, and so what's great about this is that the sound actually, so when you're listening, it literally travels all around your head as opposed to a normal headphones. And so I, I really, really uh, do like these listening to music. Uh, like I say, they have a microphone that you can attach to it, but you can use this when you're playing video games. And so they have a partnership with them. So if you want to buy these headphones, you go to seek.com, but use this promo code RMVIP2020. RMVIP2020 to actually uh, join. Uh, so please take advantage of that. <laughs> You want to 
support Roller March Unfiltered, be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, y'all know what time it is. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? I got you, Carl. Yeah, um, illegally selling water with our permit? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember, give me that! You don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, man, y'all. Uh, I'm telling you, it's a lot of these crazy folk out here. They got no sense whatsoever. This California can went to her black neighbor's home. <laughs> yeah, went to the black neighbor's home accused him of, accused his pit bull of biting her dog. The man said, what the hell are you talking about? I got it all on videotape. Then she told him, what kind of black, how y'all acting? How y'all acting? Y'all, oh, roll this video. Well, 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 and y'all most of them were very nice. I got everything you know on what? camera, so you can leave, please. You can get off my property. My dog has never messed with your dog. You would do anything to me again, I'll call the police. Call the police. Everything's on camera. I'll be happy to show them. I'll be happy to show them. I, got a, I, got, I, got I don't want to see that dog out. outside. Well, he's going to be outside because I have a right to have him just like every other person in here. He ain't done nothing to you. He ain't done nothing to your dog. Why are you so nasty? I'm nasty by explaining to you that my dog hasn't done anything wrong. You came over here to my house on my property. But, but the dog came to my Man, property. Look, I've been nice to you. I've helped you and your family. I've always talked to you. You've but never talked. You've never helped me and my family. family. You've never yeah. done a goddamn thing. You coming over here. All you've me. done is been yeah. negative. No, I haven't. I'm going to ask you to please leave my property. I don't know if you're just having a bad day or whatever, but today ain't I'm not having a bad day, but it's you know what? Yeah. You're a black person in a ne white neighborhood, and you're acting like one. Why don't you act like a white person in a white neighborhood? Keep it up. It's all on camera. I don't give a shit what I do. All right, okay. well, you can go back over to your house, and you can have a nice day. That's what you can do. And I'm going to keep walking my dog around this neighborhood. And I look forward every time I... You know, your parents were nice. They, yeah, my parents... If they, they were very the nice. Same, same Is there thing. a problem to why you're yelling? On yeah. our property? It's, it's, it's all right. She, look, she can... She, Would you come over she, here? She got a taser. It's all on camera. You said what? Yeah. I have a small little dog. Okay, but you don't have to talk talk to anybody any disrespectful type of way. You have a pit bull yelling. that came after her. No, no he, he didn't. didn't. No, he didn't. When? It's on camera. Today. Right yeah. now. Can we see the footage? I got the footage right here. Let's see. So when she lies and calls... And also, let's record, record you coming over here. It's with already... Why don't you record everything it's you can? Already. It's already recording. It is recording right now. We're not, we're not talking about anything except that I have a small little dog and you have a pit bull. And you're yelling with the taser. Why? I brought it over here for because why? Of the dog. The dog attacked my dog. The dog's not even outside, ma'am. He was outside. He was in front here. He attacked the dog. He didn't attack. He didn't attack the dog. She's I, she, I have it on camera. You know what? What? You guys are acting like black people. You should. You should act like black. People. Are we what? You're acting like Karen. I was raised in Oklahoma. About wait, black wait. People. Can you repeat that one more time? We're acting like what? I was raised in Oklahoma City, where there were tons of black people. But we're acting like what? You're acting like people that aren't normal. Uh, okay. This will you're be real nice like when you're normal. on the news, yep. when you're on social media. When pe Get the fuck off property. Get off our property. property. Get off our Get property. property. You know, I have a top secret clearance. You I don't give a fuck, off? bitch. Get the fuck off the property. Go back in the house. Go back in the house. Since we're acting like black people. Right? We're acting like black people, and that's well, not normal. people don't act like you do. How are we acting? We, how are we acting? You came over here with a taser. You I came, came over, over here with... because your pit bull attacked my little he dog. He didn't attack your dog. Not at all. Your son was out here with it. And he didn't attack the dog. The, the dog, I saw the dog. I saw you pet the dog. You pet I didn't the dog. I pet the dog. I just pet the dog because I wanted to see if he was okay. <laughs> you didn't pet the dog, but you pet the dog because he wanted to see if he was okay. Why don't you record all this? I, I am recording it. You, you're about to be famous. You know what? You're going to go. You're about to be famous. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? You're going to go to hell. Okay. Because I'm going to sue the hell out of you, both of you. All right. All, of you. Oh. all right. Get out. Oh. Hello? 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 Hello?
Hey. Where are you? Right over here. Do about a little dog like this, and that thing you've got. Ain't no pit, but he ain't done nothing to your dog. Can you bet so what about, up, what about what about uh, what about other all the other big dogs around you here? You know, most people in Oklahoma that they really were black were, were normal. Are you guys not normal? I guess not. I mean, we got we got along with, with them really well. You yeah. keep walking over here with your fucking taser. Yeah, Jerio, go in the house. You were yelling. Go in the house, Jerio. Go in the house. Go in the house. Let's let's show the world who has class and who doesn't. That's a good idea. Yeah. Isn't it be real nice when there's hundreds of people in front of your house because you want to be a racist white woman, Karen? Back the fuck up. Get off my phone. You know what? Get I on. have a top secret parents. You know what's going to happen to you guys? You're about to lose it. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Especially after this. Oh, yeah, it's a lot that you're Yeah, you're about to lose a lot. Are you white? You wish I was, huh? Well, you look like you're white. Well, I, I but I was raised with black matter? people, and they were very nice. Matter? Most of the black people I knew are very nice in Oklahoma City. Have you been to... That conversation for me, Michael, went about four minutes and 40 seconds right. too long. Yeah, yeah, I don't... Um, they could have done... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know why they just didn't call the popo uh, on her. Uh, it was it just... But it's just a shame the... Uh, the gall that folks have gotten uh, and had over the last 420 some odd years, but the fact that they still have it in 2020 because of this culted personality we've been uh, that's been at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, she thinks she can do what she wants, call people what she wants to call them, uh, and yeah, you're right. I wish they had just called the police on her and and let let them see what let them sort it out because that 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 was too long of a conversation. And uh, it's just unfortunate. If you walk your ass up on my property, <laughs> Kelly, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. And then you yeah, hasn't got no mask on. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. I'm like, that was one of the first things that I noticed. I'm like, you don't have a mask. You're not socially distant. You, you three ways to Sundays types are wrong. Like, there was nothing right about what this woman did. And the poor dog. The poor dog is looking at everybody like, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know what she's talking about. I'm with the black man on this because this 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 don't make no sense. I, I want to go home. I want to go home. Like, it, nothing made sense here. If there's nothing that dumb white people have, it is the audacity. The caucasity, if you will, because the the fact that she felt comfortable enough to be in my space on my property, like no, no, I don't have the patience for that. She would have been on the ground within thirty seconds if she was in my face for that long. I, I'm just that saying. I mean, absolutely I'm, I'm, no I, sense I'm, I'm to telling me. you. I, Kudos to that family for having the patience and the grace necessary to navigate that situation well. But I can tell you right now, it could not be. And M Michael, uh, the, the husband really knew that the wife was about to go hashtag team with that ass on. He was like, "Go on in the house, go on in the house," because he, yes. he he heard he heard the intensity of her voice. She like, mm, she about to whoop your ass. So let me just go ahead, go on the house, go on the house. That 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 he he was trying to say the white woman. Like I'm trying to but, save but your she, life. She dropped the B word what three or four times. That should give you an indication hey. about the. Hey, 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 she was letting her know right then, like, look, it's about to be a problem up in here. So y'all might want to go ahead and get this little nonsense straightened out. But, you know, I'm telling you, that's how these folks roll. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis 
came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, y'all. You know what time it is. No charcoal girls are allowed. I'm white. I got you, huh? Selling water without a permit? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. All right, we do not condone violence, any violence whatsoever. But the moment somebody touch you, the law says that's self-defense. This woman in this video, the white woman, is a Mississippi elections commissioner. I think she gonna think twice the next time she try to touch a black woman. Roll it. Because ever since I've been standing here, y'all been ain't nobody wants. Ain't no y'all. I, I just woke up. I just said something to you. Go get in your <laughs> truck before you get smacked. Now go now. I'm asking you get out of my face. I'm asking you to quit pointing. Get your hand. Get 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 out of my face, lady. Get. Come on, Fred. 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 Come on, Come on, Fred. 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 You, and when you, you record this, you make sure you get the whole thing and don't slice it. I ain't gonna slice it. You will. And I'm pressing charges. Well, you walked up in her face. We got everything she recorded. She said something. Well, we, and we, I we got everything recorded, Miss I don't care. It's always one way with y'all. But y'all, who are y'all? You and anybody. Who are y'all? You and anybody else with a phone. Have a good day. Oh, I will when she gets arrested. Hey, sir. Excuse me. Yeah. We don't have any confrontations out here. I, 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 I ain't got no confrontation, Mr. Well, Brown. Well, what's the you problem? You stood in my truck. You won't stay over there. You're bound and determined to get in my way. And she made Man, I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. She walked up into this lady's face. Yeah. Walked way over there to her face. over there to see what she she's was been, saying. She's been over there all, off and on all morning. Even gave well, well, a big sign. I ain't got to do that. Why you gonna run for something? Where you clown? You ought to commit. You ought to commit. Because I ain't never seen you like clown. She got in her face. I, 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 the Eric, I keep trying to tell these folks. <laughs> I keep trying to tell these folks that y'all. <laughs> <laughs> she like, you know Sarah? Erica's cousin, right? You know that's Erica's cousin. <laughs> Listen, the Southern roots run deep. And let me tell you, you run up on a sister like me, you asking for everything I'm going to give you. 
And this is what <laughs> white supremacy wants to, uh, they're going to miss. They're going to miss being able to just run up on black people and where you going, girl? Where you going, boy? Show me your papers. They're definitely going to miss this time where when they were walking into a building, it was, oh, let me get out of the way and those kind of things that have just been passed down. So I'm really um, interested to see. I was just looking up to see if uh, my brother Jamar Walter, uh, who was running against uh, the white lady that got our ass whooped, to see if he had won that election race. So much respect and hope he does, in fact, win. But this is the kind of stuff that we're pushing back against and that, you know, really that a person that runs up as the fight is over, then immediately runs to the black man and say, well, what did you, what you do to Miss Sherry? Like, <laughs> all that kind of like, listen. Now, Miss no, Sarah, now, Miss Sarah, now, Miss Sarah, you done started that, Miss Sarah. All right, folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, at Seek.com, want to thank them for being a partner with Roland Martin Unfiltered, Mary Spiel, the founder of this black-owned virtual reality company. You can watch their content at Seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. This is one of the headsets that you can use. It's virtual reality headset. Drop your phone right into here. Look at that content, that VR content on their site. Other 360-degree video uh, puts you right uh, right there up close. And so you just pop it on like this, and then you're able literally to just sit here and put yourself in the room and see everything that's around you 360 degrees. Now, uh, if you listen to music, folks, you can check out the music uh, on their uh, Seek.com headphones. These right here, folks, are 360-degree 4D headphones. The bass on these things are absolutely amazing. Surround sound. So literally, when you're listening to it, the sound actually is around uh, your whole head. Again, created by a sister. Uh, if you want to uh, get uh, the headset uh, the, uh, for the uh, music or the VR headset, uh, simply use this promo code, RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020, Christmas is coming up. Great, some great gifts. Matter of fact, my birthday in nine days. So I'm just, just, just giving y'all a hint. Uh, so use a promo code RMVIP2020 uh, and go to seek.com. And again, we appreciate them being partners with us here at Roland Martin Unfiltered. You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. As Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks. You know what time it is. No charcoal grills are allowed. Why? I got you, Carl. Yeah, um, illegally selling water without a permit? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember, give me your ass. You don't live here. I'm uncomfortable. Folks don't want to wear a mask, and this kid went shopping and refused to wear one. Let's just say it didn't go so well for her. Shirt, no shoes, stand up. No mask, no service. Get your ass out. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to shop without a mask on. Haven't you heard about the virus? No masks don't work. This has been going on for almost a year now. If they work so well, why are people still getting sick? I wonder, stupid. Can you answer that question? Can you yes. That yeah, question? I can because they don't wear their masks. Sick? They don't wear their masks. Oh, really? Is that what it is? Because one person, one person won't wear a mask. I'm, That's goodbye. why the, the virus Goodbye. Is going on after a year. You're a dumbass. Hey, Naomi, I ain't got no problem with that. You bring your ass in here with no mask, you're walking out in cuffs. It should happen more often, quite frankly, Roland. I don't know what people need to believe that this virus is real, that yes, your one self without a mask can make other people sick. I mean, these people are dangerous, quite frankly. And so she should have been arrested. She should have been arrested when she hit the door. And uh, look, I'm all for uh, patron shaming, Quadricos. <laughs> 
Uh, you're you're right, Mar- uh, Rowan. It, it, it's it's quite sad, quite ridiculous. Um, I probably would have stopped her at the door. I would have called the police myself. Uh, and, and these people conveniently forget, right? They want to exercise constitutional power that have a constitutional right to do it. Well, not when you are in a private company's store, right? And there are many companies across this country that have instituted policies internally that you can't walk into their stores without a mask on. So not only are you not, again, in right and moral community, but you are officially violating that company's policy by not wearing a mask. I don't know who allowed her in, but I would have stopped her at the door. Michael, I'm telling you, these, these people, and I love this. Are you telling me it's been a year people are getting this because people are not wearing masks? Yeah, dumbass! Yeah! It, exactly. Not, not only are they getting it, the infection rate is spreading, and the number of cases per day nationwide are increasing. Which, which uh, uh, state was that in? Uh, I don't know. I don't, well, I, uh, Ashley, what was that in? Where's it from? Which state or city? Not I sure. Curious. I know it was okay. a Costco, but not sure what, okay. what, what city. Y'all don't have so, a city? So, yeah, so just... so just, just Somebody gonna get that, cussed out. Just the fact that the infection rate is spreading so quickly, and you, it, you've gone from uh, the first uh, one million cases of coronavirus in this country took 100 days. The last one million cases, it took six days. OK, and, and it's because of idiots like this and uh, they're, they're getting sick and spreading it to other people. So, um, yeah, they, sh- they should take her away. They, and and they, they should they actually they should make a public service announcement commercial about uh, uh, hey. using, using her. Tell you the truth. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right, y'all. That's hey, right. Y'all my unfiltered video in just one moment. Public employees had make getting through this pandemic possible. So one, thank you for your service. Thank you. You're asking me, family. This is our moment. This is our moment to show what the green mean machine is made of. For the next week and a half, we've got to show our power and make our voices heard every single day. We will mobilize, we will organize, and we will win. Oh, ask me. Oh, ask me. You want to support Roller Barge Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Y'all know what time it is. No charcoal girls are allowed. I'm not making new I'm white. I got you, huh? Selling water with our permit on my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Oh, Give me your ID. Well, a white woman in Irvine, California, got into a traffic stop. Let's just say she rolled up on the wrong sister, who had all the time in the world for this Karen. And you park like an You've idiot. You've been reported. Oh, I already reported you too, baby. Let's see. So she's put my life at risk and my child's life at risk. You've been posted all over Temecula Talk. So have you. And I wonder... I you on Facebook. I got 10,000 followers on I wonder on if I was a Spray black no woman. A I wonder if I was a black woman with a black... Get the fuck out of my way. Get away from my car. Six feet. You better Six feet. back up. Six feet. You better back oh, I got up. got some too. You I better back up. I got some too. Someone call 911 right now. Get away. Get away from my car. Six feet. 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 Did she throw a color purple root on her? <laughs> I love how Sister Girl tells her inner Karen, help, help, get 
like from my car. I told y'all about that pepper spray. Didn't I tell y'all? Keep that pepper spray. Spray them like broken. Six feet. Step back. Hello. I told y'all. Sound like somebody listening out there. But I thought, you know, she handled it appropriately. But I hope she got out of Dodge for the police showed up, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 I mean, I, 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 I did get a kick out of help, help, help. help I mean, fun. normally it's a white woman who's screaming. That's true. That's true. I mean, unfortunately, Reese is right. You know, she, first of all, that Karen was right. She is threatening her life, but she left two words out: way of life. I am a white woman, so therefore, mm. I should be able to do whatever the hell I want with black people. So, <laughs> and the sister, I, I, I agree with Reese. When she starts saying, help, help, you got to understand what that white woman is counting on is that she can make a phone call and white supremacy will form like Voltron. And here come the same police with the same attitude they treating that brother in North Carolina. They're going to swoop in mm -hmm. and go after the sister in the car. And I, by the way, I didn't see any kind of mask anywhere near that lady's mouth. Right. So at that point, I'd be like, look, this woman threatening my life and the life of everybody else. But you know, Shout out to that sister for saying, at this moment, I don't care. If we must, well, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <It's my mind. laughs> it, 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 I need to breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Stop. You know, I can't I can't breathe. breathe. Stop. I hear you. You know what I was about to say. <laughs> I hear you, Greg. I, always, I hear you all the way over here. But her holding hey, up Eric, her phone Eric, with that little... Eric, Eric, here's, <laughs> Eric, here's, here's my whole deal. Here's my whole deal, okay? This, this, this is me. First of all, Look, I get it. Folks got the window down. They talking. If that's me, I'm on the inside of the car. This is me. Right. <laughs> like, I need, I'm not even about to sit here and engage your ignorant ass. I'm going to be like, I'll be sitting here just, and then, then I'm going to hit with this here. Right. <laughs> Laugh at him. <laughs> That's what I would do. See, That's what I would do. Eric. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Roland, because I think everybody knows the R and U family. The only kind of engagement I'm engaging in are these. Come on. That's <laughs> what people respond to. That's the only type of engagement I got for anybody that rolls up on me. I'm not with the shit. And so. Her holding up her cell phone, you saw she had the demagogue on it back on it. That told you everything that you needed to know. She's ignorant. She doesn't hear. She's a damn fool. Either pull off or engage right. Ooh. But you know, one thing, though, is that well, you do have to be careful because with that video and that audio, you have to present the alternative story. Because these white folks, they sit up there, they, they, they have, they're on camera, they're, on, they're, they're in distress. And they have your license plate, and they show that to the police. And next thing they roll up on you, you got shots in you. And so I'm not saying that that won't necessarily happen, even if you do engage with them. But if they're on the phone, you need to be just as loud. That's why it was very smart for her to be like, help, help. I hope she had her mace. I hope she got out of Dodge. <laughs> but you cannot let these white folks be on the phone, be on camera, and be on with the police. And it's only their voice and their story. You better have your camera out, and you better be loud unless... If, unless you can get the hell out. If you can get the hell out, go ahead and move on about your business. But you can't let them record you and only get their side of the story out. Reese, that's so important. Yeah, I mean, I mean look, I mean, look. This, that's so important. Look, these... Greg, Greg go ahead. No, no, no. Go, go ahead, Ron, please, brother. <laughs> no, I, all I was about to say is, is that, is that uh, I don't know when these things be going down. They just don't happen to me. I, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just Great saying, guy. I'm just saying, uh, I mean, I mean, just go ahead. I mean, I, I, they really don't. I, I, I probably, this, this actually, this, act, it, it wasn't anything like this here. And, you know, we've all been mistaken, you know, in stores, but like we worked there. And I remembered I was in, uh, in Arlington, <laughs> Texas at the dealers out at the dealers outlet mall. And I'm, it was a Sunday after church. I was clean. I mean, this was all pre-COVID when we actually wore suits and ties and, sh and shoes that required polishing. Yeah. Um, and I'm sitting here, I'm sitting there in the store, Greg, uh, and I'm looking at some suits. 
Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, this white guy actually uh, yells, uh, excuse me, I need a 42. I said, do my ass look like I work here? <laughs> I said, look, I said, look at me. Ain't nobody here with a suit this clean. Do you see anybody working here with this pocket square and tie combination? I said, no way in the hell I work here. I said, and why your ass at it? Get me a 48. <laughs> but see, Ron, see, but I mean, this is the thing, though, right, brother? And that's why they text me and ask me, were you out there in that parking lot by yourself? And what Reese said again, at any split second moment, it can all go terribly wrong. And we're laughing in this moment because, you know, as James Baldwin said, I mean, to be black in America is to be in a constant state of rage. But mm -hmm. part of that, underneath that rage is a sense of sorrow. But for, for the African in the West, underneath that sorrow was a sense of hope and joy. So we can, that's why our comedians often become the ones who become prophetic for us. We can laugh about this because we've been there. And we also know that Erica said, at any moment, it could go wrong. I mean, you know, this woman, Ka Catherine Bryant Donham, still walk, walks to earth in Mississippi. And Mattel, 14 mm, years old, just in there trying yep. to get some candy or, right, or coke. Right. He lied on him. Next thing you know, the boy at the bottom of the Tallahatchie River. And, and I mean, Philando Castillo, you had his mother on this show. He absolutely, he videotaped his own death with the right. child in the car. So, as uh, you know, at, at a split second, in that moment, you said, get me a 48. This ain't get you no 48 N-word. And at that moment... You might say, I'm going to ignore you, or you might decide in that moment to channel the spirit of our sister Erica and throw them bows. And at the <laughs> end of the day, <laughs> we have to decide in that very moment, which is why I said that, Claude McKay, thing, if we must die, let us nobly die. But for the black yeah. person in this country, it can go from laughter to life-threatening in a split second. And that's something any white person, ally, open enemy, no, will never be able to understand in their soul. That's why people texting me asking, are you all right out there in the dark, brother? Because there's an alchemy afoot in this country. And it can go from laughter to uh, to, to memorial. Oh, yeah. In a split second. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, y'all know what time it is. No charcoal girls are allowed. Not new I'm white. I got you, Carl. On my property. Oh my lord, I've got some good ones, y'all. Let's start in Phoenix. Are you the manager? Yes. Excuse me, but you did say that she needs to go back to her country. What, what kind this of, what kind country. of, what is that? Native Americans Excuse me, this is what this whole world is. People are not from this country. You don't serve her. Yeah, you do not serve her. Don't serve her race as that. You don't talk. No, 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 no. Continue serving. Continue serving. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. No. No, you do not come in here and use the F word and swear and call me a B-I-T-C-H. I've never even said that I said she is and you're not a part of it. I said that word. 
So you get out of here. No. I know. I said no. she is, and that's why she's leaving. Okay. So you will leave too. No, 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 no. This is going all on the internet. You don't know who I am. You told her. To, you told her to go back to her country, where she's from. That's assault. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where were you born, bitch? I was born in America, bitch. Where are your ancestors from? You're They're going, not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. Bitch, you better go back you to where you're from. You just, you just know. You just walked into it. He's right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, but she deserved it. Oh, my God. In my opinion. Yeah, you, you pushed her and she smacked you. That was uh, self defense on her part. Oh, she grabbed me. Nope. Right, ah, ah! Come on, bail out. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god! Yep, she smacked your ass. <laughs> I keep trying to tell these white folks. Y'all keep rolling up on folk. Y'all are going to get jacked. Keep trying to tell y'all that. Alright folks, that's got rolling my uncle to video in just one moment. Seek.com, C-E-E-K.com for partnering with us. This is uh, Mary Spio is the creator, the innovator, uh, the founder of this company. Uh, she, of course, designed these three, these 4D, 360-degree headphones that are absolutely amazing. We've got a partnership with them, folks. If you purchase these headphones, uh, you can use the promo code RMVIP2020, RMVIP2020. Uh, simply go to Seek.com, that's C-E-E-K.com. Be sure to check it out. We thank them for partnering with us. You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right. Y'all know what time it is. Girl, no chocolate girls are allowed. I'm white. I got you, girl. Oh, yeah. um, illegally selling water with our permit? I'm on my property. On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember, give me your ass. You don't live here. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable. All right, y'all, another one of these Karens. Check out this white woman here. Brother man is just trying to do his job, y'all. I think this is in Miami, I think. He's just trying to deliver some food to a customer who called the order in. Look at this fool. You know you're mad. Okay, so here. you're not gonna let me in here. to deliver I, this food. In, I have the know. number. Yeah, we don't like pictures. I mean, I'm just. No, don't don't point that shit at me. I, I'm trying don't to. Point that fucking. I have food I have to deliver to somebody, man. Don't, don't deliver anything here. We don't well, want you you're, delivering. You're not. We don't want you. You didn't get the here. food. I don't want you. I don't want you here. I don't, don't want, want you here, here at all. Excuse me, Paul. There's a woman like at the door. Uh, my name Hello? is Jordan. I'm Who working in a place. Like, Who is this? Excuse me. Can you back away this? from me, man? No, I'm not this just, is my bill. I'm not gonna. Back I'm just away trying. From to, you. Who is this? Who's on the speaker? Hello. Yeah. Who's uh, on the speaker? Ma'am, can you back? Who's speaking? I live here in this building. Who is this? Uh, your food. Who is, is this? Who? Uh, I, this is Paul Morris. I'm in 212. I'm, I'm getting a Postmate delivery. A Postmate delivery in 212. 212 where? I'm sorry? Yeah, where, where do you live, sir? I live in no, 1995 Kelvin Avenue. Can I, can I, you live can in I it or do you my job, live please? No. You're not going to let me do my I'm job. I'm not letting this man in. Can I bring your food to you? I'm at the entrance of the building. Oh, so you want to bring the... I'm at the entrance to your building. Who are you? Who is this? I live here, right. asshole. And I pay rent here. So I do too. So what are you asking? I'm asking you to get out of my building because you don't live here. I, I'm I'm a black man. I'm trying to deliver. My mom I don't care is if he's a purple mom. man. I'm working for my mom. Here. Her name is Anna. I'm, yeah, I don't care. My name is Jordan. I'm trying to deliver your food. Is, she sir, said I she want you out of the here. building. She doesn't want me near here. I, I just want to deliver food. I don't want him near here because I don't know him. And I don't want people buzzing him into my building. I don't know how to do this for you, but I don't want. She's like in front of the door. I can't do anything right now. I don't know him. I know everybody in this building. He doesn't live here, and he's not a delivery boy. He had no car, boy. no bike, 
nothing. The car he that I pulled up in that white. That's, that's my white. Pizza that's my white car over He's there. He's not a delivery. He okay. is not yeah. a delivery service. Yeah. Okay. He didn't get out of a lift. He didn't get out of an Uber. He didn't get out of a car, so Mercedes, a Honda, anything. Hello? He's a black Paul, guy walking so around who has a clicker to get into any building down. he wants to. Okay. Yeah, dude, you got codes, dude. I got codes. You don't got a brain. I don't got a brain. And Generation Z or X, whatever you are, Gen people are dildos. No, I'm You're a not dildo. getting in. I'm, I'm not you getting in. You don't have a key, dude. You're yeah, not going to get I, I have a key. You That's don't. cool. You can't be. Can you not me. touch me? No, can you not film me? Okay, thank you. So I can. No, I'll, be, I'll be behind Appreciate you. you. So I don't want you filming me. What? Can you get away from me? <laughs> no, that phone? No, I don't. Can you, Lady, you that's can you? Because you're, 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 you're getting. Yeah? You're getting close it's to funny. me. Can At least you? it made you laugh. It, it, I mean, I laugh. guess this is really yeah, terrible. Yeah, this is yeah, horrible. Hello? Hi, Paul. Bus Did you want me to. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you want me to leave it down here for you? Please, please. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Buzz one ten. <clears throat> no. Yeah, buzz one ten. <laughs> I don't know you. Buzz one ten. I'm. I'm. You knew how to buzz him. Buzz by the way, I have this on just I'm so just that if you do you something to me, you don't want to hear music. I just buzz want 110. it to be. Here, here's okay. one ten. Pound. I just want to document one, this. One zero. Just doing my job. Yeah. Let's one see of my if it three works. Jobs. They took my name off. Did you know that? Food. They took my name off the directory. They used to have. The so you don't even live here. I live here, asshole. So I've lived here for seven years. But they took your name off. Fucking pig fuck phone either. Okay, how do I do this? Let's see. Uh, press pound right, I'm one one zero and see if it buzzes this my ear. This is unit. crazy. Yeah, what what what's up? Can you, what's up can you back I mean, away you? from me? Twenty seven. You're my son. I'm you, not you talking to you anymore. I'm not gonna talk basketball. to you. That's cool. Yeah, good. This guy's a neighbor. Cool. I see him. That's great. I've never seen you in my life. Because I don't live here. Look, look, look at some. I can see you. In, I wasn't no, talking to you. Your phone's looking at me. No. As well. As well. I, I Just in case you try to call person. the cops or something person. and tell them one know thing, that. and it's not phones. that. How would you like me to go? You're like this. You can't do anything without them. Do you? you carry a little phone around. This... You, you can't do anything. What are you doing right now? Like, why are you? Do... I just don't understand. Phones. Like, you're crazy. Okay. Hey, I have one too. You like Galaxy? <clears throat> no, it's an Android. I don't fuck with Androids. Paul? Yeah, but you're not Here, Paul. I'm buzzed. No, 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 I buzzed. I buzzed. No, he's not going to be buzzed in. No, I just want to get, get my your food. food. Yeah, just get your food. Thank you, Paul. I have a long time about that. Yeah, why haven't I done that? Jesus Christ. It's crazy. Apparently, that's at the Westwood Kelton Towers in Los Angeles, California, Reese. You know what? Uh, Paul's punk ass fool would have went right in the trash. Once he brought his monkey mother, you know what I mean? Let me, let me simmer down a little bit. Once he brought his punk ass downstairs, and I, the black man's apologizing to him after the black man sat up there and took all that abuse, and he just took, oh, I just want my food. Paul, you ain't shit along with that racist white lady. And I'm telling y'all, I don't know how these black people do it. God bless them. Because I've never had that, that extended of a conversation with anybody being disrespectful towards me. I understand that you got to get your, your, your commission or whatever, but she needed some hands laid on her. And I just, I, I applaud them, but I would really much rather videos of Karen's like her getting stomped out and slapped across her face and cussed out go viral than videos of these docile Negroes who get told off and get harassed and get abused and they take it and, 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 and like I said, God bless them, but it's sending the wrong message. It gets my blood pressure up because I would have just slapped her on sight and then dropped the food off and Paul, punk ass Paul, could have got his own food. <laughs> Erica, if, if that's me, hashtag team whip that ass, we'll be showing up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm, I was clenching my teeth because I'm listening to that child's voice and it sounds very much so like my 20-something-year-old son. And just thinking about the um, level of aggression that Black people have to really navigate through every day um, for this young man just to be trying to go about his business. He is covering uh, his nose and his mouth. Um, because COVID um, has a disproportionate impact on him, just like it does his black and brown um, community as well. And so to have this Karen, um, who this is really what a Karen is, 
they demand to know what the hell you're doing. Explain yourself. I will weave in and out of the conversation as I please. But you are to follow my order. She also called him a delivery boy. Um, this is that Karen type that has, um, you know, supposed to be um, a slur of sorts, but it's not. It's a behavior. It is a mindset. And many of the same folks that led us to this disastrous presidency still very much so hold this posture. Um, I think that um, I'm glad that he um, actually filmed it and bless him for holding his composure because as a young black man striking a white woman, um, we've seen historical outcomes of that. But as a mother, as a black ass mama, mm -hmm. I cannot even imagine because I can tell you the time that my son, from the time that he was in pre-K to kindergarten, mama has shown up heels in her <laughs> hand, hoop earrings in her purse, Vaseline ready to go. So that that's really, I think, more of the concerning part of me is that this is something that uh, these are different wars that our children, all of us are having to wage with these white women. I'll say this here, Greg. If you deliver it, you don't owe that white woman no conversation. That's when okay. you say, hell, I ain't talking to you. That's when you like, move, move. I, like, you mean nothing to me. This whole, just, so she know, she know everybody in the building, yet when they call a number, she didn't know who that person was. I mean, these white folks literally are operating like we are in slavery days where there's a Fugitive Slave Act where I can check your papers. Yeah. Well, they're paterolers. They've always been paterolers. Deputies. They deputy police. All of them. But, you know, and I, and I Reese, I share that, yeah, it's, you need an ass whooping. And, 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 and Eric, I know, I, I look, we know how you roll, and I see my brother Akinyele Umoja's book back there over your shoulder. We will shoot back, so I know who, <laughs> we know how you roll. So, but at the same time, though, I couldn't help but think, and when you voiced that, sis, it really, really resonated when you said he sounded like your son, because we know those kind of cats like that, easygoing, kind of, you know, they're not weak. Don't mistake that for weakness. It's just their mm -hmm. temperament. And so, right. you know, it's interesting. We have this uh, Howard Initiative on public policy. We did a webinar today, a second round. We're doing some surveys of black and, and uh, Afro-Latin uh, and Latinx communities on how we're coping with this racial pandemic and the biological pandemic. And, you know, we, we asked uh, folks, how are they coping, black folk? Are you, are, you are you using distractions? Are you using substances? Are you reframing? What's your emotional support? Humor, acceptance, religion? One of the lowest percentages that people, black people are, are moving to is venting. And uh, Jules Sorrell and Ron Hobson, who are two psychologists at, uh, at Howard, uh, brilliant brothers, were talking on the webinar today. They, they said, why is that number so low? And they kind of reached a general idea that we don't have the luxury to vent. Absolutely. And, and, and so, so, so Erica, when you're talking about what you had to intervene for your son, you know, that could have gone left, because I think that woman was a little touched, because you heard her going a little loopy, and then she said, do you play ball? I mean, uh, oh, are you, are you 27? Oh, am I, in other words, you, a little, you got a little Trump in you. Maybe your brain, a worm is eating your brain, too. But <laughs> he, fortunately, his temperament was such that it was his nature not to just make that move, because that could have ended with sirens and him dead right there in front of that complex. And that's one, I mean, it's a hell of a thing to be black in America. I agree with James Baldwin, man. Cause one of these days, what 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 did uh what did uh what did um what did Langston Hughes that little poem he wrote? Uh, Look at the Negro, meek and kind. Okay. Beware the day we change our mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so I mean you know, but thank God that thank God that young man is going home to his family because that could have went another way if his temperament had been different. All and, and can I just say though, like I to be clear, I'm not saying men should go out there and um. Hit woman. I'm saying, or, or, or I women, or women, personally no question. Sandra Bland, slap the no hell question. out of her. But right. I think that black people should carry mace. I don't think that there's a gender <laughs> um, barrier between mace and somebody who's in your space. Go on ahead and spray them. That's not assault. If you somebody's in your space, if whether it's a man or a woman, you have that right, in my opinion, to go ahead and sh get rid of them. No conversation. Just sh that's it. <laughs> No conversation. <laughs> Spray him like rain. No conversation. <laughs> hey, all I'm 
Y'all, I'm telling you, I hope they kick up behind out the building. That's what I hope. All right, folks, back to our Roadmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially at Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, y'all know what time it is. No chocolate are allowed. I'm white. I got you, Carl. On my property. All right, y'all. Amy Cooper, sometimes publicly called the Central Park Karen, has been charged with filing a false report in a confrontation with a black man in Central Park uh, in May. She's charged with falsely reporting an incident in the third degree in her confrontation with Christian Cooper. According to prosecutors, there was a previously undisclosed second 911 call she appeared, where she said he assaulted her. She appeared in court virtually, and Assistant District Attorney Joan Aluzi Orban said she would discuss a rehabilitative program with the defense. The judge set the next hearing for November 17th. All right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, the folks at Seek.com, black-owned company founded by Mary Spio. Uh, they, of course, a virtual reality company. You can check out their content at Seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. You can do so, of course, with these VR headsets. You can look at it, of course, on your regular device or your pad or your computer. But if you want to experience being in the room, you can use this headset right here. All you simply do is just pop in your cell phone in here, pop it on, and then uh, put this headset on, and you can literally experience their content in virtual reality. And so uh, allows for you to do a 360 degree view uh, of the room. But also, folks, uh, you, they have the 360 degree 4D headphones right here. Uh, these are, are Bluetooth headphones. Uh, they have complete surround sound in terms of as you hear the particular music. Uh, gamers love them as well when they're playing their games. Uh, and so it's just phenomenal, phenomenal bass in these headphones as well. You can get one or both devices at seek.com using this promo code RMVI. VIP 2020 RM VIP 2020. So we certainly thank the folks at Seek.com for being a partner with us here at Roland Martin Unfiltered. All right.